We're headed to Tuk Tayuk Tuk, and we're doing it in the middle of winter. It's six weeks, 10,000 kilometers riding to the uh, Canadian Arctic. This is the story of real adventurers. Joe Lloyd and Paul Mondor set out to discover Canada during winter on their BMW motorbikes. This bike looks, just, just looks badass, it really does. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a winter road destroying machine. The two are followed by camera operator Flora Lloyd in a BMW X5, tackling the hardest weather conditions their three-month trip will take them to the north. The first challenge. The team heads towards the Coquihalla Pass Road, known for its steep southern ascent and some of the year's most dangerous snowstorms. By the time we got off the Coquihalla, it was just slushy, messy everywhere. Big rigs were, you know, in the ditch and being towed up the hill. If I could pick one moment in the day that uh, was definitely the worst, it would be the lead up to the snow. On the other side of the pass, the Rocky Mountains Winter Wonderland rewards the courage of the team. On the positive side of all of this, look how beautiful it is out. It is, it's absolutely it is awesome. mesmerizing. Just unbelievable, I've never seen anything like it. It was like this massive cone below the waterfall and it, it, it was all iced over on the top and it just sort of like came shooting down into this massive cone. A new enemy every morning. Bitter cold with temperatures dropping below minus 30 degrees. Getting on the bikes again and again is now the biggest challenge. I don't like giving up. It's just, it's not me. So um, yeah, would I have gone colder? Yeah, hell yeah. Bye happily got dressed with only one layer under my suit. Then I transfer from one building to another and minus 30 hit me. Soon the crew learns how to adapt to the cold. The Arctic climate dictates the rhythm of the trip. We're not leaving at 7.30 tomorrow. Uh, we made that mistake many a times now and we're not going to do it again. So we're going to sleep in a bit more and leave when the sun has a bit more warmth in it. To me it's going to start getting interesting from here. It's going to start getting challenging for me. I'm looking forward to much harder conditions. I'm really looking forward to the ice road. It's a, it's a new challenge, and it's the challenge that you know, we set out in the beginning. The first of two major winter ice roads takes the team deeper into the wild. Rough snow patches make the driving extremely difficult, but also very rewarding. Day two on the ice road. Highly skilled driving is now the key to manage conditions not made for motorcycles. Packed snow, really packed hard, on top of a rough surface, which in this case was gravel, and then with a light dusting of snow on top, which adds even more traction. Riding through the pretty winter solitude of the Northwestern Territories means going to their limits and discovering breathtaking landscape along the road. So it's kind of nice to be on that other road, that road that nobody takes, and especially a road that is only available in the winter time. But this road will lead to even colder conditions, the ride to Arctic Tuktoyoktuk, in part two of The North.